Guardian bot? Hello. What are you doing here? Huh? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. But I just got here. To this world, I mean. See, I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least not with ease. Well, that's kind of odd. What are you built for then? Either said odd or sad, I took odd. <laughs> My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, uh, why though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. Why would it not be worth the effort? You're a protector. Alright, let's see. Our went to school about how the waters surrounding the forest stretch until the boundaries of space. But at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what. <laughs> forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. I'm still scared of waters. Likely due to some sort of electrical magnetic interference. <clears throat> I'm afraid this operation could no longer be sustained if the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot be kept up, cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots, at least not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. These terminals do not boot. I'm not sure what to do now. You know, I've been never been around so many robots before, Anthony. Or any robots at all. I mean I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in purpose and they're pretty neat, don't you think? Yeah. Hey Nico, do a robot voice. What? Try talking like a robot. Um. <clears throat> Beep boop. I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. <laughs> that is not correct. <laughs> Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. <sighs> Anthony, you made me look silly. Come on, it was funny. Hello, hi. What are you doing up there? I'm stationed here. By yourself? Yes. And still afraid of waters. Good. There will be no overcoming your fears here today. Hello, organic person who is alive. The infirmary is up ahead. Great. Uh, okay. Took something. Are you seeking admission to the infirmary? No. Oh, carry on then. Hello, person with organic makeup. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected? None. Treatment required? None. You are good to go. Thanks. Okay. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. 
I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's going to be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. You can't just throw them away. Anybody up there? Okay. Hey, sweetie, six more weeks till you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon, love mom. Aww. <laughs> This is a really cool, like, I love when, you know, game authors, oh, do you need help? Good. You know, when game authors choose uh, to, like, add a lot of detail into something. Okay, I'm drawing. Evacuation at such short notice, I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of the job. It's okay, I've got the sun. Okay. Is all I came here for just to see that guy and snag a syringe? Okay. Just keep heading to the left. I like the sparkly water. Time for gas mask. Good. Nope. Nope. I want. I want to know what this is gonna amount to. Since it's on the ground, oh, this is hard for me. Initially. The amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness for the medical team. The medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, the, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the Barrens. We found that there's not one, but two such vent zones, with fumes being pumped up, pumped out at such high concentrations. It seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. I wonder... Uh, I do it. Yay, we'll see how that goes. Ooh, what are you? Water looks like jelly? It's from the bubble over the surface of the pond. That's kind of cool. Oh! Here's an idea. Yes! Oh, the liquid might be a bit too thick to fit in the needle. Hey, it actually went in. Gross. <laughs> Guys, dark. That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? We're working on it. Oh, look at that. Gave somebody hope. That's these little pools. I'm a doctor. I should probably shake this too. It changed color. Bottle of acid. Oh. Cool. 